helping a friend clean out his uh, storage locker. She's sick of paying for it, so grabbed a couple things. None of them are in really good shape. This is a GE 806 chassis. Some kind of weird tube tester. It looks kind of modern, but... I have to see if somebody has posted online um, a setup chart for this because it's pretty much useless without that. Okay, this is the first set that we loaded on the truck, or I guess the last first set we unloaded. And we checked it out. It's just a crappy 80s Xena System 3. Uh, works good, the picture works, but there's no... Ooh, and it's an advanced System 3. And uh, it works, except there's no uh, audio demodulation. You can hear the amp, and there's audio on the, um, on the composite inputs in the back, but there's no audio at all with uh, just, just hum and hiss when it's on the channel. Okay, this is the next one to come out. Chroma color. What did you say the year was? Like end of '72, beginning or uh, beginning of '73. 1972 date code on the transformer. This is a 23 DC 14. A lot of you vintage color guys will be will know this chassis. The 6LF6 tube chassis. And I've seen this on a couple of these where the this red material becomes conductive and so you end up um, well on this one they just kind of cut it cut it out because it'll arc. You can see the where it arcs across there. And they just kind of cut it out and hung the parts and glob silicone all over them. It's a little sound module. That's probably the chroma right there. So it's got the oscillator and driver. The vertical out, the damper, and the horizontal out. And the rest is all transistors and ICs. It's got a rototwebulicious tuner. Diode, it has a tripler in it, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It has a tripler back there. This is when they really started to go downhill. Look at this, it's plasty, plasty set with a particle board top and bottom. And um, this is when they really, this is a really low end, really low end set. Here's the next one in poor condition. This is a silver tone. Here, flip it around, could you? Oh, this one has gum stuck on the side of it. That's pretty cool. Missing the channel selected knob. The, I put the knobs inside. Remember, I pulled them off so they wouldn't get lost. Let's get the back off. We've um, 
discovered this is metal under this press board here. We're about to open it up and have a look on the inside. That is bizarre construction. How do we get that out of there? We need to access the vacuum bulbs. Let's take it apart. This thing has got delamination. Did you see this? Yeah. Delamination. Yeah. But it's black and white. How is that possible? Unless that's the phosphor. Here, let's push it, push it, get it. The camera's not gonna show it. Why even, there you go. Oh my gosh, wow. Just came right up. A great CRT, but um, unfortunately the CRT is kind of self EOLing. Okay, here's the last one. This is a uh, black lacquer Magnavox. And this is completely the opposite of uh, the Zenith. This is uh, the high quality model. Six by nine there, six by nine there, tweeter there. This one has something I have never seen before, a solid state damper. Never seen one of those before, we have a service tag here from 1970 and we have a replacement RCA cathode ray bulb from 1970 electron cathode ray bulb color filled so I think we want to I think we want to check the cathode ray bulb and perhaps power this one up after we power up the suburbanite. Okay, we're just going to do a cold hard power up on this one. And here we go. You ready? Okay, it's uh, lighting up. Transmitter's on. You want to put an antenna on it and yeah. see if we get anything? This delaminating phosphor is such a trip. 13 hours. Start. 
smokehouse brisket sandwich. Freshly sliced in store and topped with melty smoked Gouda cheese. Craveable brisket, ready when you are. Arby's. Slice it up, freshness. Now playing on DirecTV Cinema. Spring is calling. It's time to let in the light. I am ready, baby! This is awesome! I hate shut Clean out the old. <laughs> Mission accomplished. And jump into adventure. <laughs> With Disney Springtime Fun. Let it begin! Movies start at Channel 125. It's actually... Ama that's amazing. All the original capacitors, too. Should see if the electrolytics are getting hot. Okay, let's check out the Magnavox. This is actually working really good. It just, it's really bright. It's just, uh, we're outside in the sun. All right, next. Here we're now gonna check the picture bulb on the Magnavox. Oh boy, here's another winner. Look at this one go. I don't really see the heater. Could it be not plugged in properly? It's they're all pegged. All oh, three okay. colors are oh, pegged. Okay. Awesome. Let's go down to five. Can't beat that. It's like a brand new CRT. Okay, plug it in. We're going with the I don't know if it's Doug Harland compatible, but it's, well, is this Amos and Andy comp compliant? Can we put this on eBay for $30,000 and say it's MCA approved or MCM or MSN or whatever it was and say it's, it's Amos approved? Oh, it just came up. I heard it. What's up? Ooh, we have crinkleage. There it is, fine tuning. Let's see. It's almost there. In 2011, adultswim.com was the number one website Set the off of adultswim.com and told them turning the UHF. It must have a television is king. This was the LSD talk. Let's see if they... now we're putting all of our shows back on adultswim.com, even the shows that everyone hates. Adult Swim and adultswim.com for Dream Team, Stream Team. <laughs> That's got to be the fine tuning. Well, the UHF channel is changing. Well, that's not my problem. Oh boy, take a deep breath. Breathe out it. Breathe out fresh air. Morning. Morning. Smell that. That's the smell of adventure, Morty. That's it's fine, Dad. Okay. Hey, it works right out of the no, right off the right back of the truck. Can't beat that. The heart of a horse. Since we're fighting, if you ever have an affair with that guy, I will come to the hotel room and blow my brains out all over your. This um, solid state damper doesn't even get warm.